Anyone interested in joining the Demon Heat Color Guard or Winter Guard can find our information on the Demon Band website, which is demonband.nsula.edu. And auditions this year will be held April 28th and May 5th. For NSU News, this is Charlie Bass. So, Jamie, what's happening in the world of NSU sports? Well, the Demon Baseball team is coming back from UTSA this weekend, and we'll have more of that when we return. You and her and all the other cousins would be having tea parties in her playhouse out back. Hi, I rehearsed trying to convey the right emotion, so please don't cause a commotion and mess me up. Thanks. I spend countless hours moving with Grace, so please be careful with flashing cameras. They can be distracting. My steps retrace a wandering one. I spend countless hours trying to perfect my pitch. So please silence your cell phones. I want to be heard. Please adhere to the rules so we can put on our best performance for you. Looking for a way to stay healthy and get into shape? Then come and join NSU's Wellness Recreation and Activity Center. The rack contains two large gyms for basketball, volleyball, and badminton, racquetball courts, free weight room, strength and cardio rooms, group exercise room, and an indoor track. The rack has a fully staffed service center and will serve all of your health needs. Come and start your lifestyle change today at the NSU Rack. Welcome back, Demon Sports fans. I'm Jamie Gilbert, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. The baseball team came back with a series win this past weekend, playing against the UTSA Roadrunners. The Demons came out with a 9-4 win Friday night with a great effort at the plate. Colin Bear threw 6.2 innings and gave up four runs on eight hits, a walk, and five strike strikeouts, which won him the second consecutive win for the season. Both teams came out swinging Saturday. The Demons and Roadrunners put up a combined 37 runs on 47 hits. The Demons came out on top with a 2017 win, which was the second most scored runs in the game in school history. The win moved NSU into first place in league standings. Sunday night didn't go as planned for the Demons after coming out fighting the night before. The Roadrunners posted a 13-3 mercy ruled win on the Demons. This loss caused the Demons to tie for first place in league standings. Nick Hino started the game up in the second inning for the Demons with a leadoff solo home run, his fourth of the season. Designated hitter Colin Bear led the team at the plate with a 3-4 showing, putting up two doubles while right fielder Jordan Buckley put up a 2-3 showing with a run scored and two stolen bases. The Demons were scheduled to play yesterday against ULL, but due to weather conditions, the game has been postponed. They are scheduled for a, to host the three-game series this weekend against Lamar starting Friday at 6.30 at Brown Stroud Field. The Lady Demons softball team came back Tuesday night with a split double header against Jackson State. The first game, the Lady Demons put up a great fight, heading into the seventh inning with a 3-3 tied game. Cheyenne De La Garza hit a three RBI double, which opened up the Lady Demons with an 8-3 lead. The Tigers topped it, though, at the bottom of the inning with six hits and six runs scored, with a two-run walk-off home run. The Tigers won 9-8. The second game, the Demons came out swinging with a lively performance from Samantha Roberts, who blasted three home runs. The Demons managed to score in every inning to take the 16-6 win. Blair Bayard managed to extend her hitting streak to nine games, and Tara McKinney close behind with a seven-game streak. The Lady Demons will be back to play Friday, hosting McNeese at 6 p.m. The NSU track team has come out with some outstanding performances lately. Trey Hatton was named the Southland Conference Men's Track and Field Athlete of the Week, with Ashley Aldridge being named the Conference Women Track and Field Athlete of the Week. Hatton ran in two winning relays and took first in the 100-meter dash at the McNeese State Meet. He also played a part in the first place winning of the 4x1 relay and the 4x2. The Demons came out on top and swept all five races at the McNeese Meet, which was the first outdoor competition of the season. Ashley Aldridge had an outstanding performance when she posted the nation's second 
second longest javelin throw in the nation with a 162.5 mark. The track team headed, is headed to Arlington, Texas this weekend for the Bobby Lane Invitational. Wrapping up sports, it may be spring, but that isn't stopping the Demon football team to hit the turf. They had their first inter-squad scrimmage last Saturday as the Demons moved a third of the way into their spring drills. Spring practice will end on Thursday, April 5th with the Delaney Bowl. Remember, for all your NSU sports news, you can go to www.nsudemons.com. I'm Jamie Gilbert, and this has been your Demon Sports Blitz. And that's going to do it for this edition of NSU News. I'm Andrea Fontenot. And I'm Taylor Etsy. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.